Hello everyone, welcome to the Sands Classic. I'm your host, Cuds Mipplestein, and sitting beside me in the booth is Fastion Bulbus. Hello, Fastion. Hello, and let me tell you, I am so excited to follow Mario on the Sands Classic. Let's get right to it, shall we? All right, well, here we are at hole one. And here is Mario setting up at hole one. He is such a good man. Let me tell you, he saved my brother's marriage. Well, how'd he do that? Well, my brother and his pesky little wife had a dog. And that dog was getting in the middle of the two of them, my brother and his wife. So one night, in the middle of the night, whilst my brother and his pesky wife were sleeping, Mario came and simply took the dog away. Ah, I see. He took the dog. Yes, Mario, that rapscallion, he knew just what to do. He took the dog, and now my brother and his wife have never been happier. Goodbye, puppy. I'm not sure whether to praise the man or call the police. My brother hired Mario. Well, it seems as though Mario is about to hire a great putt. Let's watch. Oh, oh let's watch the replay. I'm happy. I'm happy. <laughs> My brother's dog. Here we are, hole number two awaits. Oh yes it does. Just like my wife awaits spiritual sanctity in Scientology. Oh that's right, your wife just started Scientology. How's it going for her? Well, she has locked herself in the bathroom for the past three days and she is announcing sacramental chants at the top of her lungs. Oh my gosh, is she okay? It's too hard to tell at this point. She must be making a breakthrough, though, because she's on day three. It's, uh, it's been a lot of days in that bathroom, and her sacramental chants are loud. But I do feed her. Oh, well, I'm glad she's getting fed. This morning, I gave her a fun-sized Twix candy bar, a bowl of milk, and some heated-up pasta sauce. That's an odd combo. I must admit, I do not know how to cook. That was her job until the Scientology came into play. I once considered doing Scientology, but then I read that it was tough on your legs, so I didn't want to do it anymore. Yes, I hear a lot of stomping around in that bathroom on top of the sacramental chants. It must be a part of the chant, stomping and banging around. I wonder if my brother's dog is okay. Well, there may be no way to tell, but Mario sinks another birdie on hole two. I hope there's a new owner and it's safe and living. Here we are at hole three. Yes, and so far Mario is making easy work of this course. Hey, Fastion, how's your slut wife doing? Ah, uh, well, she is out there sucking and fucking any man that lays eyes on her, most likely. Oh, uh, that's tough to hear. I'm very sorry for you. Ah, uh, it's okay. I make the big bucks up here in the booth, and I'm just grateful that she chose me. <laughs> I wonder if she even cares about you. No, probably not. But she did choose me. <laughs> Well, if it's any consolation, Fastion, I wouldn't let her suck me once, nor would I fuck her at all. I wouldn't even do anal. You're a good friend, Cuds. You're a really good friend. Thank you. Mario is simply exploding today. Perhaps quite like how a local stranger might be exploding on your wife's face as we speak. It's tough to think about. Life is really full of twists and turns, isn't it, Fastion? I think I should call my wife. Um, I'm gonna call her. I'm gonna call her. You go call her, Fastion, and I'll sit here and reminisce on the good old days before Scientology came in and locked my wife in the bathroom. Oh, would you look at that! Mario sinks the chip, and I have no friends. Hole four is a par three, uh, and I just spilt my coffee all over my lap and pants, and I am going to hold this smile for the rest of the broadcast. If you could not tell, I am holding a forced smile, and I am in exquisite pain. I just got off the phone with my wife, and she told me not to call, and she's in the middle of something, and then she hung up on me, so... 
I'm having some thoughts go through my head now, and I, uh... What's wrong, Fastion? Get it off your chest. I, I want to build a treehouse and cover it in lotion. The kind of lotion that doesn't go away in the rain. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. No, not at all. Another birdie for Mario. Do they even make an everlasting lotion? I don't know. I don't know. And here we are at the 18th hole, the final hole. That's right, and Mario is in the lead. It is no contest. It's been quite the day for Mario and for my own sanity, my thoughts of my marriage. Well, you're the one who decided to marry that infected wound of a bitch. I've changed my pants twice today because I forcefully pissed in them. Two times, just to take my mind off of my wife. <laughs> And there he goes, he's peeing again. Oh, the chair is sopping. Oh boy. Alright, we need to get someone in here. It's okay, it's okay. I'm warm now, I'm warm. It's amazing, Mario is having an amazing day. He's going to win a lot of money and you are just a sad sack, panic attack, piss stain with a whore for a wife. I'm sitting in my pee. Yes you are, Fastion. <laughs> yes you are. I had a dream last night that I was a cow eating so much grass that I couldn't smell gasoline anymore. Well, I had a dream last night that Jesus Christ himself came down from the heavens and shaved my eyebrows. Then he forcefully held my head in front of a mirror and forced me to look at myself for 14 hours. Oh my god, 14 hours went by in your dream? Yes, 14 whole hours. I've never felt more controlled by Jesus in my life. He had complete control over me. He was holding me so stiffly. He didn't even blink. And Mario has won the Sandy Classic. <laughs> Congratulations, Mario. And I think we've all learned something very important here today. Stay single, just like Mario. You won't have to deal with shit.